mountaintop in India. First of all, I don't like turbans. Second, I don't need to go to any mountaintop. Third, we're not invited. No, there's no females on the mountaintop. <laughs> You'll have, no, I just reclaimed it. I'm like, go ahead, sit on the mountaintop. I don't care. I'd rather be at the Four Seasons, quite honestly. Breathing is oxygenating your body. The only way to get oxygen into this blood is to move in oxygen on a regular basis. That's the definition of the word aerobic. The definition of the word aerobic is not jumping up and down like an idiot in neon, yelling and screaming your head off because you didn't make the cheerleading team. That is not the definition of aerobic. The definition of aerobic is any movement at all for 30 minutes or more in oxygen. So, how do you know you're in oxygen? At 260 pounds, here's what I was doing. Oh, jeez, I was two minutes in, I was like, I was out of breath. So I slowed down, I didn't stop. You can walk at a snail's pace if you're unfit, move. The way you know you're in oxygen is, are you, are you sucking wind? Are you blue in the face? If you're blue, it's not a good sign. Can you breathe? That's it. In oxygen means you are getting oxygen in. In oxygen means you are oxygenating your blood. In oxygen means that you are oxygenating the human body. That's all it means. Breathe and move go together. Any other questions? Yes, ma'am. Oh, you beauty. Sexy. Sexy and sexy. 60 years old though, that's hot. That's sexy. I'm gonna be illegal by the time I'm 65. Do I have a tag in here? Is that a tag? What the hell is that? They left the tag in. Um, 60 years old, I'm gonna be illegal by then. Um, 60 years old more than anything, women need to build lean muscle mass because metabolically it's the most active tissue in the human body. Unless you build it, it's not gonna be there. If you wanna know how to avoid all the diseases, build lean muscle mass. Everybody knows but nobody says it. It's not a glass of milk that helps osteoporosis. It's weight bearing exercise. That means unless you're picking up a weight and using it, believe me when I tell you, you your defense is down. And there's nothing sexier than being strong enough to stand up straight. Lean muscle mass. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for asking. Um, I haven't written a book. I've been gone for 10 years. I just came back because I have the greatest management company ever, Kid Row Productions. Yay! We love anything with the name Row in it. Um, truly, I came back because I have the right management team. I have the, the more control, you know, more of everything. And my next book is coming out with Simon & Schuster in the next two months, and it'll be all over the website. It's called The Politics of Stupid. It's a very good book. It's a very important book for everybody to read. And it says everything. The Politics of Stupid. It's not that millions of people are stupid, because you're not. It's not that millions of people don't care. That's not true. It's not that millions of people who are hardworking, decent people, who are being good parents, knowing what they're doing, how come they can't figure out what to put in their mouth anymore? What's happened? What made people so black? that you don't even know what to put in your mouth or your baby's mouth. Like, it's stunning, and it is the politics behind the industries. However, the most important thing about the politics of stupid is, it is the greatest weight loss program on earth. And let me tell you what it is. It's about four words. It's about consciousness. It's about behavior. Hmm? It's about responsibility and honesty. Those are the four words. Those four words are gonna change your life, because we're gonna get honest, you're going to increase your response to your ability. You have the ability to put the damn brownie down. You're not a more Like, you don't have that ability. Yes, you do. They've told you it's addictive. No. Heroin is addictive. Sugar is just annoying. That's all. You, you, it's increasing your response. Are you getting, what, I, I can absolutely make a different choice. You get frustrated, angry. It's like, what? They have numbed and dumbed millions of people. They, and it's, been, it's a very effective thing, but you can come out of that coma, that atmospheric coma, and the best way to come out of it is physiologically to activate. Because when this activates, guess what else does? Ah, directly connected. Biggest detour in the history of the world is the separation of the body and the brain. The same blood that feeds this, feeds this. Same nutrients that feeds this, feeds this. Uh, it's absolutely true. So when women get well, guess what happens? They resurrect from the living dead and they get mad. They wake up and go, you have got to be kidding me. That's all I want, is for millions of you to be enraged and sexy. A sexy, enraged woman, what more do we need? The whole world will change. Hello. Uh, hello, hello, it's true. Any other questions? Yes. 
um, glow in the dark, you know, all the, the neon colors, the, 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 the you know, uh, the hot pink Slurpees, the, the, you know, the purple, that, not just candy now. No, the orange that when you buy something in the store that says orange, it's been dyed orange. The dyes, the preservatives, the chemicals, they're, they're deadly. They are deadly and they're not just making people fat. They're, they're affecting brain chemistry, for real. I mean, all you need to know is that before they even change a child's lifestyle, they drug them. Before they even get them off refined white sugar and flour, they'll give them Ritalin that fast. That fast. They'll drug them before they'll change their lifestyle. That's all you've got to know. And there isn't a doctor alive, certainly not one that's dumb enough to try and argue this in front of me. There's not one physician alive who would argue with the fact that 85% of all disease comes from lifestyle. There's not one stupid enough to argue that. Now back in the day they did, but now they can't because you're smarter. And you go, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Let me just tell you three things you need to be very scared of. Refined white sugar, refined white flour, and the refined white men in the refined white house who are passing the laws that do not have anything to do with your health. <laughs> Woo! Refined white sugar, flour, and men especially in that refined White House. Let me tell you something, the agencies that are paid by you to protect you are not. Don't be, don't be, that, don't, don't be that 80s. They're not. They're passing laws that have everything to do with the lobbies, not you and your family's health. That's all you gotta know, so you have to use your own common sense. You have to use your own intuitive wisdom. You have to use your own like, wait a minute, that don't make no sense. Or how about this? Hey, I just ate that and I feel horrible. <laughs> I just ate that. A birthday cake was recently brought out in a, an event I was in, and it was, it was, it was so white, it was like, what? And I said, that is, like, you don't like this. This is not a good taste. This is disgusting. Every mother in the room was like, oh, we hate it. It's disgusting. I said, don't eat it. I said, what should we do? I said, stomp on it. Like, you know, Lucy did. Just don't eat it. They were like, oh, we hate it anyway. And we feel like every time we eat it, we have the birthday. We, uh, two hours later, what? Don't eat it. Simple. Any other questions? Aren't you lovely? I do, I, I, videos, audios, every, every, everything that I do, everything will be on the site because I can do it and control it and they're not saying, listen, okay, okay, watch it. You want to know why I left? This magnificent woman comes up to me, I walk in the door today, she holds this up. Now listen to me. I have never seen this, it's a Susan Powder doll that they're selling. I have never seen it. They, I have never approved it. I, it's kind of cute. She's kind, except she looks a little dikey. It's like, come on, put a dress on her, which is hot. Nothing wrong with that, honey. I've always said uh, I'm going on the cruise in two weeks. I can't wait. Oh, I'm so on the gay cruise. Okay, look, I'm so there. Um, I, you know, I just actually what I meant, and really what I mean to say is, it's not fashionable enough for me the outfit, but the face looks pretty. This is why I left the industries, because they're selling stuff under my name I had nothing to do with. Nothing will be sold on SusanPowderOnline.com that isn't from me. This management company actually is a good one, and I am going to... It's beyond, it's beyond raise the roof. You know, if I come off the hammock, honey, I have come off the farm. I was on a horse farm for 10 years. I was living this, you know, if I have come back to take the throne, I'm gonna take it. It's that simple. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. And the women are and always have been magnificently brilliant because you get what I'm saying. Any other questions? Ask me anything. You can ask me anything. I'll answer anything. Uh, if not, I'm going to get ready to get back on a plane. But this I must tell you something. I thank the Expo for having me here because they literally said, oh my God, you know, last week you're going to be in New York anyway. Can we go to Jersey? Yes, yes, Jersey women. I promise you, you don't have to, it doesn't matter what you think of me. You really never did. It doesn't matter. You don't have to like me. You have to listen to me if you want to look and feel good. If you want your health to be good and you want to be strong and you want to really have energy and passion in your life, you do have to listen. And if you do it, you will look and feel good. It is life-saving. It is the most important information. It always was. And now saying it is nothing but a joy. So I'm very glad to be back at work and to be saying that in Jersey. Jersey, I might add. Thank you all very much. Thank you.